boxing out of the blue corner. On the scales at 12 stone, 10 pounds even. Nine fights, seven victories, one finishing inside the scheduled distance, and two defeats make up his record. Wearing the white and red shorts this evening, and boxing out of Bradford, West Yorkshire, introducing Jermaine Springer. And across the ring, wearing white and boxing out of the red corner, Scaling at 12 stone, 10 pounds, 2 ounces. 15 fights as a professional boxer. 14 victories, including four finishing inside the distance. He has just one defeat on his record. Standing in the ring this evening as a former English and British light heavyweight champion from Birmingham, Shekhan Pritchard. Well, Shaka Pitters has to bounce back from the worst night of his career. That awful defeat by Craig Richards. He lost his British title in Redditch. And here he's up against Jermaine Springer, who's a good opponent and a useful fighter himself. Record of seven and two. Springer, he'll make life difficult for Pitters, but Pitters Richie needs to get back on the right road here. Yes, he does. Obviously, the, the loss for his British title in his last contest against Craig Richards. You know, he just made a couple of mistakes and he got punished. It was a good performance from Richards. So he looked to bounce back here. But it, it's good tactics straight away from Springy. You can see what he's trying to do right from the word go. He's trying to get up close and, and whip the shots over the top because Shaq and Pitters has got the height and reach. But if you can get it up close to him and try and whip the right hand over the top, then he's always a little bit vulnerable. But it's closing that gap down without actually getting caught is going to be the problem for Springer. It was a terrific fight against Richards. Richards on top early, then Pitters looked to be boxing his way back into it, and then Richards caught him again, although in defence of Shaq and Pitters, Craig Richards' performance against Dimitri Bivol put uh, that result into some kind of context. Richards was excellent that night and pushed a very, very good fighter all the way. For Pitters, though, it's about just re-establishing himself, and getting his confidence back. He looked a shattered figure that night and it was hard to watch at times. It means so much to him. Good right hand there from Pitters to discourage Springer and follows it up as well. That was a cracking shot from Pitters because he actually adjusted his feet, Dave, as Springer was coming forward. He, he sensed the attack, he adjusted his feet and he brought him onto the right hand. But for Pitters here, the jab is so, so important, but also the right uppercut. As Springer comes forward, if he can bring him onto that shot, he'll have some success with that punch. General sense that, particularly after his fight against Dex Spellman and Richards as well, that Pitters is, is vulnerable to left hooks, and I'm sure that Springer is fully aware of that. Springer started trying to back Pitters up, but now Pitters trying to establish things behind that jab and just try and take control early on. Yeah, I think Springer's been caught with a couple of good shots and it's just slowed his pace down a little bit because he started the round very well. Quick uh, on, with his feet getting forward, closing the gap down well, trying to get up to close to Pitters. But as the round's gone on, Pitters has started to get into it more in terms of landing bigger shots and it's just slowed Springer down and that is suiting Pitters. There's that left hook from Springer, didn't miss by much there. The good opening round this on the road back to Shaq and Peters. So a lively start. Peters here. There's that right of a good to the body. That was a super punch, one of the best shots of the round. And then he produces this right hand, little shimmy with the, with the feet. Brings him onto the shot and there's that right uppercut again. So a good round for Pitters 
the quality shots were certainly from him Springer was trying to come forward gets caught with another right hand there and as the round went on he slowed down and uh, Pitters was in control Just a slight delay then at the uh, start of round two. Springer had forgotten his gum shield, but we get back underway. Very, very good sportsman as a, a younger man. Pitters, excellent footballer, was on the books at, at West Brom. Has the good sense not to support them though. He's a Manchester United <laughs> fan. We're going to say we could do with him now, to be quite honest. Yeah, yep, chose boxing instead. And winning that British title at Lights Heavy shows the quality he has. But again, that's not bad from Springer. Again, started the round quickly, so he's getting closer and he's whipping the shots over. That's his only chance, but he's got to do it with quick feet and avoid the shots coming in. Interesting that Pitters is prepared to engage here. They say that he has more power than his record would suggest, just four knockouts. And I must say, when you watch him up close, that always seems evident. He fight against Chad Sugden and he landed heavily just doesn't have that that one punch knockout power His long levers are very useful that's good work from Springer trying to close the distance and throw that right hand for Pitters he's got to keep the jab really really quick you've seen Springer there just to try to land there then it was again that right hand over the top if Pitters slows that jab down that gives Springer a great opportunity to, to, to land that right hand over the top. So that jab of Pitters has got to be very crisp and sharp indeed. He's a fighting man, Shaq and Pitters, but if he stands and trades here with Springer, which is what he's doing in, in part at the moment, he gives Springer a chance. Yeah, he should certainly be concentrating on mid to long range boxing, Shaq and Pitters. Just testing Springer on the inside at short range, and as you say, they, that, that, that brings Springer right into it. But Springer has got to make more of the opportunities on the inside. He's got to throw more shots, especially the right hand over the top. He's got to do more of that type of work when he's in close. Lost last time on points over eight against the unbeaten Thomas Whitaker Hart. Jermaine Springer came away with real credit though against uh, Tony Bellew, managed fighter also the taller man so Springer used to that prior to that lost against Boris Crichton in Manchester Crichton also unbeaten stopped in the second there's that uppercut to the body and a right hook from Pitters was a terrific follow-up punch. Yeah, some good work again from Pitters here on the inside. Right hooks and left hooks going in. Good round for him again. Left hooks and right uppercuts going in, but there's that super right hand that just caught Springer off guard a little bit. He dropped his left hand as he's coming forward, did Springer. But look at these shots whipping underneath from Pitters, and then he switches the attack with the right hand to the, the head. A good round for Pitters, and he's two rounds up. Paul Cunahan in that Shaka Pitters corner. You can see Kerry Kays as well on the right of your picture. One of the very best around. Second out. Round three. So round three between Shaka and Pitters and those white shorts. Having lost his British title. Wasn't a seismic shock against Craig Richards. I know Richards was fancied by plenty of people in the trade and he was certainly fancied heavily in his own camp for that. But uh, 
Still a minor upset, given the form Pitters had showed. Now he's looking to bounce back from there. And Keep coming back, the left back on the bike and back on the road to somewhere special. Mick Hennessy was always convinced that Pitters could challenge for world honours and just one setback doesn't change that. No, very often you learn from those setbacks and uh, certainly the way he's boxing here tonight. Then, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to go on to bigger and better things, Shakan Pitters got the height, got the reach, got the physical advantages over most of his opponents. With that type of style, it's all about holding the centre of the ring, keeping your opponent on the outside, concentrating on mid and long range shots. And if they do close that gap down, then bring that right uppercut and left up combination into play. But up to now, he's doing OK. Springer, on the other hand, has got to again get closer to Pitters and whip the shots over the top he's got to keep his head moving and avoid the shots Dave and you can clearly see from the body language that those punches are hurting Springer just taking that even that half step back just being discouraged gradually here right hand there from Pitters best shot of the fight and he closes in and looks for the finish referee having a good look but Springer was stunned by that Brilliant yeah. work from Pitters. Big shot again from Pitters. Adjusts his feet, brings him onto the punch. Good boxing. He's just maintaining that gap and distance between himself and Springer. And the quality shots are going in now from Pitters. Still over a minute left in the round. Still Springer. Looks hurt here. Trying to hold on desperately. Again, that right uppercut to the body. Springer hurt again. Springer's got to get up close and hold Pitters and just grab a few seconds just to recover if he can. But Pitters here, he's really going for it. Quality shots, just measuring the gap with that jab and then the big shots will follow. There you go, there's that right hand. And to lead him onto that, Pitters. Springer still fighting back, great. Spirit 2 from the man from Bradford here is going to survive this third round, this crisis round. Unless Pitters produces something really special at its end, but it's Springer who ends up on the front foot, turning into a good scrap this, Richie. Yep, tremendous contest. Super round from Pitters, his most impressive. Switches the attack there from body and then to head. That was a classy move there from Pitters. As Springer comes forward, chopping right hand from Pitters, really he did the damage, good punch. But Springer recovered towards the end of the round, he actually started to come back into it. So that's a good sign for him. But nevertheless, Pitters on the front foot, boxing really well and bringing the opponent onto the shots. <laughs> So round four, good fight developing between Shaq and Pitters and uh, Jermaine Springer here, scheduled for eight but Pitters came close to getting it done in round three. He did come close to the stoppage there in that previous round day but towards the end of the round Springer he got through, he weathered the storm and that will give him confidence. Towards the end of that round he seemed to, to recover, put a couple of attacks on himself. So um, let's see how Pitters takes it up from here. Good work from Pitters in that previous round, quality shots but can he keep it going? And what confidence has that given Springer at the end of that last round? Pitters trying to just push him back, Springer looking for that right hand over the top, but made to pay, Gumshield is out there. Just overbalanced there, Springer and Pitters really made him pay. Yeah, but it's good boxing from Pitters because he's anticipating the right hand over the top from Springer and Springer's falling short with it. So Pitters is adjusting his feet, he's drawing that punch, he adjusts his feet, he makes him fall short and then he 
then he counters with his own right hand good clever boxing from Pitters but you've got to get the timing spot on there but Springer he's just falling short with the right hand only took them 20 seconds to uh, work out the gum shield to come out but it's back in now for Springer and he's back on the front foot of course with that comes danger long levers of Pitters finding their mark really accurate punching too from Shaq and Pitters <laughs> right on cue he missed with a right hand there but again I think he's learned from the Craig Richards contest he's not so um, making mistakes as he's coming forward Pitters he's holding his ground and he's adjusting his feet and bringing Springer on to punches against Richards he made the odd mistake coming forward leaving his chin in the end he got caught but here look he's boxing again and moving backwards and trying to bring Springer onto them good contest set it up behind the jab that time that right hand Yep. Jab is such a weapon, isn't it, for Shaq and Peters? Yeah, it scores your points, it, it breaks up the rhythm of the opponent and sets up your backhand, and that's what he's doing here, using that jab and just adjusting his feet as Springer comes forward. It's, it's a clever performance at this stage from um, Shaq and Peters. Both landing at the same time and Springer down that right hand caught him on unsteady legs. It's going to be okay, I think. Yeah, back to his corner he goes, but excellent work from Pitters right at the end of the round. Yeah, it was definitely a 50 50 situation there. Both went for it, tried to land big shots, but it was Pitters that came away with the better shots that, that, that landed the quality punch there. So super stuff, see both are going for it Dave, but it's Pitters that lands the big shot, the quality shot. But Springer himself was trying to land a big punch. See look, he just beats him to it. Quicker, more accurate, Pitters, and Springer went down. Great last 10 seconds of the round. So round five of a scheduled day. You should have known that Jermaine Springer would make this a real test. He's a useful amateur with Carmen ABC in, uh, in Bradford. He's come out fighting again at the start of round five, trying to get Shakan Pitters on the back foot. Yeah, fair play to Springer. He's got on that front foot. He's got up close to Pitters and he's landed with a couple of good shots. Pitters just made the mistake of, a, of allowing Springer to close the gap down without catching him with the punches and Springer started the round very very well especially with his left hook. It was a one-sided display against Chad Sugden when he won the British title but after his fight against Dex Spellman Pitters then Richards and now this albeit at that slightly lower level he is turning into a fighter who's never in a bad fight. Great action this from Pitters and from Springer. Good footwork there again from Shaq and Pitters and work to the body as well. Yeah, important you see that he does it from the centre of the ring. That's why he just seen the footwork there, just brings him back round to the centre, keeps Springer on the outside. Springer certainly uh, slowed up, but he's still in there throwing, albeit on slightly heavier legs. Just the sort of test that Shaq and Pitters needed, really. Yeah, he's a tough guy, Springer. There's no, no doubt about that. What he's got to do a little bit better is move his head as he's coming forward. There's no real head movement. He's a strong kid. But he's walking on to probably too many. Look at that. Right on cue. Tremendous right hand. Pitters gets the stoppage. Pitters gets the win. Fantastic.
fantastic shot and he followed it up and there was nothing that Springer could do to respond. It's a good stoppage and Shaq and Peters back from that desperate disappointment with a hard-earned win against Jermaine Springer. Well, Shaq and Peters, you know, he, he clapped there, didn't he, Springer, Jermaine Springer, because he knows that he was in a hell of a scrap there. That was a real good test for him. We spoke about how Peters has been bringing Jermaine Springer onto punches all night long, and that was another classic shot there. The way he come forward, Springer, and he brings him onto that right hand. Tremendous shot that really was. Here it is again, Richie. Yeah, perfect timing and technique. You can see the attack coming, adjusts his feet, and then lands a lovely right hand. Let's have a look at it here. So there's the adjustment with the feet. There he is bringing him onto the right hand, and then he knows he's, he's hurt his opponent, and then he finishes him off. A good performance from Shakan Pitters, and he was pushed there. Springer, tough, tough kid, and he'll come again. He's, a, he's only 32, this lad, so he'll come again. He knew, he knew Pitters, but he just kept unloading. He'd get the stoppage. Good to see him back. One of the real nice guys, does everything for his daughter, Leah. And uh, he can start dreaming again. And we can uh, make the result official. The official end of the contest falls at two minutes, two seconds of round number five. Referee Kevin Parker has stopped the contest. In his professional opinion, Jermaine Springer is in no position to continue. Your winner from Birmingham, Shakan Putin!